Hello, I'm Dr. David Anderson with the Veterinary Medical Center for Large Animals here at the University of Tennessee. And I've got exciting news for you today. The University of Tennessee is expanding its farm animal medical hospitals. We've got incredible new services, new personnel, and a brand new facility that we're going to be opening this summer. It's 2013, and I'd like to show you a little bit about it. So let's go inside. So the new farm animal facility here at the Veterinary Medical Center offers a covered unloading area for livestock so that we don't have to worry about weather uh, when we're getting animals in and out of trailers. And we have a multiple different entry areas to the hospital depending on whether we have cattle that are unable to rise, cattle that are going to be here for a short period of time for you know, quick procedures, or cattle that are going to be hospitalized here. Uh, we also have dedicated facilities for sheep and goats, swine, llamas and alpacas, and camels. And so this new farm animal expansion services all sectors of the livestock community in the state of Tennessee. So let's go in and see a little bit of the things that are happening. Construction is going on right now, but we're very near to completion. So what I'm standing in right now is the down cow and dystocia facility. So this entire room here is dedicated to management of cattle that are unable to stand or cattle that are having difficulty calving so that we need to assist them. And it's also structured so that we can do cesarean sections in this room. You can see we've got a two-ton hoist system in here. And we also will have a flotation tank in here so we can help cattle rise. There's basically nothing so big that we won't be able to pick it up in this room. Pretty incredible. So right now I'm standing in the middle of one of our livestock species dedicated wards. Each of these wards has procedure rooms that are associated with it and also has stalling that is unique to that species needs. And so we have a ward that's dedicated to cattle, a ward that's dedicated to small ruminants and to swine. We have a ward, that's, a ward that is dedicated to llamas, and alpacas, and camels. That way we're able to serve the needs of each of those pursuit, pr producer groups and also the special needs of the patients. Now I'm in the middle of our new um, surgical procedures and special procedures hallway and there's a lot of exciting stuff going on. This is part of the remodeling of the old clinic that allows us to greatly expand the farm animal services that are going on. We have two farm animal surgery suites. We have a special procedures and endoscopy suite. We have a uh, suite dedicated to animals uh, for imaging, nuclear medicine, CT, and MRI. And so you can see here that there's a tremendous expansion of farm animal services going on. Uh, all of this stuff, despite the fact that construction is uh, happening very quickly, all of this stuff will be online this summer, and this is a tremendous resource to veterinarians in the state of Tennessee to refer clients here, and also clients to be able to bring their patients here and get very specialized care. So another component of the expansion of our farm animal teaching facilities here at the Veterinary Medical Center is our field services division. The field services division goes out to farms and provides services for clients in our practice area, and they also provide critical consultation services to veterinarians throughout the state of Tennessee. So this is an important part of our expansion. So I think you can see why we're so excited about what's going on here with farm animal education at the College of Veterinary Medicine and for farm animal clinical services here in the Veterinary Medical Center at the University of Tennessee. We're excited about it. We hope you're excited about it. Um, we're expanding what we're doing and we're bringing a lot of new services as a resource to veterinarians and clients in Tennessee and really for the surrounding region of the United States. So we hope to see you in Knoxville sometime soon.